Hi and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. This is the third video in a series on the dolls, toys, and other kids stuff in the 1963 Montgomery Ward Christmas Catalog. In this installment, we'll find some children's furniture, lots of housekeeping toys, and doll houses. Plenty of furniture here for the playroom. You could have tea for two with this table and chair set. I really like the mid-century modern style of the chairs and the shape of the table. I couldn't figure out what doll this is. The outfit doesn't seem to match anything in the catalog. The two-in-one sofa toy chest is a great functional piece. I wouldn't mind having one of these to display some bigger dolls and store others away. Every kid needs a rocking chair and here are six to choose from. The one on the middle right has a built-in music box that plays a tune as you rock. The three-way toy chest is a toy box, a blackboard, and a bookshelf all in one. The pink and green graphics are adorable. This is one of those things Dad needed to assemble at midnight on Christmas Eve. Another cool mid-century style table and chairs set. This one has four chairs and a chrome finish. This is the only set they offered with a round table. Furniture was offered at several different price points. I love the pink and black set with the folding chairs. The backs of the chairs and the sides of the table have a perforated design. The green table at the lower left has a design of four animals. The one in the middle has a large table but keeps the price down with only two chairs. The set on the lower right has chairs with padded seats. On the next two pages, Ward's offered everything you needed to put on the table for your tea party. This china set is the moss rose pattern, which was also made in grown-up size. In addition to the tea things, it also included a covered vegetable dish, platter, and salt and pepper shakers. These two plastic tea sets were also like mommy's dishes. The set on the left is called Blue Ironstone, but it's obviously meant to look like Wedgwood. The set on the right looks like the hobnail milk glass that was very popular in the mid-20th century. Each set is a complete service for four that includes water goblets, flatware, and napkins. Here's two more plastic sets, but they have service for six and include additional serving pieces for a complete dinner. The patio wear set has 95 pieces and was Ward's most expensive set this year. It has a coffee pot instead of a teapot. Additional serving pieces include individual covered casseroles, four larger covered casserole dishes in a warming stand, a covered skillet, individual butter dishes, a napkin holder, and a salad set. Wow! The floral spray tea set on the bottom has fewer pieces, but does include a big casserole dish and the smaller individual ones. The play food set at left added another dimension to your dinner party. Everything from breakfast to dessert was included. The toy appliances could be purchased separately or together as a set and included the toaster with delayed pop-up and fake toast, the battery-operated can opener, which pops the lids off magnetically, no sharp edges, and the percolator, which according to the description, really perks the water when you put it on the play stove, although no batteries are required. The aluminum flatware set could be used for play or for real at mealtime. Howard Johnson's was a popular brand name in the 1960s, with a huge chain of restaurants as well as a line of frozen foods. The very cool soda fountain set, shown at the top, has a soda dispenser with packets of Kool-Aid, an ice cream scoop, sundae dishes, spoons, cup holders, and paper cups. The tea set shown on the bottom has metal plates, plastic tumblers, and tea things, plus cutlery and napkins. You could buy the soda fountain and the tea set individually, or get them both and save money. Both sets were made by Ideal. This corner cabinet has plenty of room to store all your dishes. It was made of cardboard with a Pennsylvania Dutch design. The white ivy tea set at upper right was a more basic set. The description says that it's metal and plastic, but doesn't specify which pieces are which. 
Below that is the Chilton Ware Aluminum Coffee Service, which includes a percolator and serving tray, but no creamer and sugar bowl, so hopefully your toddler likes her coffee black. The clear plastic set on top was made to look like cut crystal. You could have a very fancy party indeed with your covered cake plate and candelabra. The cook and serve set on the bottom is just like mom's corningware in the blue cornflower pattern. A detachable handle turns the casserole dishes into skillets and saucepans with a cradle to set them on. The percolator has its own trivet as well. The Tammy tea set on the top has metal plates with the design of Ideal's Tammy doll in her snow bunny ski outfit. The set serves six and includes plastic tumblers. Barbie's set on the bottom is described as a tea set but has a coffee pot instead of a teapot. The plastic plates each picture Barbie in a different outfit. Although it only serves four, it includes casserole dishes. I wasn't able to find this exact Barbie set online, so if it was actually produced, it must be pretty rare. Kids could really get cooking with the items offered on the next two pages. The cardboard carnival stand brings the midway home to you with colorful clown graphics. It came with the cotton candy maker and the ice cone machine, which were both made by a company called Try Play Toys. You could also buy the cotton candy maker separately, but not the ice cone machine. When you're tired of sweet stuff, the electric hot dogger grill would come in handy. Wards also offered a Coca-Cola dispenser. You put in a six ounce bottle of Coke and it would dispense it into tiny plastic glasses. I know it's hard to believe now, but Coke was actually sold in six ounce glass bottles. If fruity drinks are more your style, the Kool-Aid cooler on the right would do the trick. It's actually just a dispenser, not a cooler, but with a kid's imagination, it could be ice cold. And speaking of ice cold, the machine on the left is the Mickey Mouse Club ice cream machine. Unfortunately, in the photo, the chocolate ice cream looks more like dog food. Here are a couple of electric appliances made for kids by Argo Industries. The Junior Chef popcorn popper in the top photo came with bags, bowls, and even the popcorn. The Junior Chef electric mixer has blades of pliable plastic to protect little fingers. The Gilbert mixer on the left here is a hand crank style stand mixer and also has a scale for measuring ingredients. It came with dessert molds, a spatula, and a recipe booklet. The frosty snowman snow cone machine on the right was made by Hasbro. These were hugely popular and were available into the 1970s. For little bakers, the 23-piece aluminum baking set shown at top included everything you needed to make miniature cakes, cookies, muffins, and more. The pieces could actually be used in a real oven. The Chilton House cook set on the bottom, however, was just for play stoves. It included a toy percolator and skillet, as well as a double boiler, saucepans, pudding pans, and more. The Little Lady Electric Range was made by the Empire Metalware Corporation. The top and oven had separate heating elements that really cooked. You could buy the range alone or with the ready mix set that included an assortment of food mixes, pans, and utensils. The one pictured has Swan's Down cake mixes, Junior Chef frosting, pudding, pie filling, cookie, gingerbread, and muffin mixes, even a bottle of log cabin syrup. Wards also offered smaller and larger assortments. The 81-piece deluxe assortment included brownie and pizza mixes too. You could also purchase a set of pizza mixes and utensils separately, or assorted dessert mixes without the pans and utensils. Ward's Signature Steel Kitchen was their top-of-the-line item for little homemakers. The stove and refrigerator would just pretend, but the sink did have running water. You could buy those three pieces as a set for $24.77, or get all four pieces, including the cupboard, for $34.77, plus freight shipping. Altogether, it weighed 83 pounds. Housekeeping toys continue on the next two pages. The child-sized Toy Master Kitchen 
was made mostly of cardboard, so it was a lot more affordable than the steel kitchen on the previous page. In this set, the range and sink with running water were combined into one unit. You could buy each piece individually, or buy the range, sink, and refrigerator, or all three pieces together for $13.69. It could be sent by U.S. mail, saving money on the shipping cost as well. The 55-piece food and utensil accessory set was included with either the two-piece or three-piece kitchen. The metal plate kitchen by Gabriel Industries is doll size rather than kid size. The refrigerator is 15 inches tall and included a few boxes of food items. You could buy the three pieces individually or all together. If you bought the whole set, it came in a box that was printed to make a backdrop for the kitchen. The 22-piece pretend food set on the right says it is realistic in size, shape, and color, so I'm assuming it's for the kid size kitchen rather than the doll size one. The Dream Kitchen was made by Deluxe Redding to use with Barbie, Tammy, or any similar sized doll. The colorful plastic pieces are the epitome of mid-century style. It has a lot of very cool features. The shelves in the refrigerator swing out. The sink and dishwasher both have running water. The range has light up burners and a rotisserie in the oven. It also came with a huge number of pieces of food, pots and pans and utensils, dishes and even tiny flatware. A total of 176 pieces in all. This is without a doubt one of the coolest doll accessories ever. Of course, cooking wasn't the only housekeeping skill that little girls were expected to learn back then. The Laundra Magic Washer and Dryer by Hasbro tumbles and gives the illusion of making suds without any water. The deluxe ironing set includes the adjustable height ironing board, a padding cover, and an electric iron. The laundry set on the upper left has a smaller ironing board and a play iron that doesn't actually heat up, but it also came with an umbrella type clothesline, a wash tub and a washboard. You could also buy a nicer clothesline separately. The other set shown on the upper right is not quite as nice as the deluxe set, but does have an electric iron. Irons at three different price points were also sold separately. The one on the left is the same one that comes with the deluxe set. It heats up enough to press lightweight fabrics. The other two irons warm up, but to a very low heat that won't actually press anything. The text in the catalog reads, Good housekeeper, start young. A little girl's most exciting adventure is mastering mother's homemaking skills with her own scales-to-size equipment. If you say so. The Susie Goose housekeeping set on the left includes a working carpet sweeper, broom, mop, duster, dustpan, sponge, and box of pillow pads. The Bissell carpet sweeper and the Regina electric broom set look like miniature versions of the real thing. The full-size versions of both of these were very common to find in homes of the 1960s. The electric broom really works with three D-cell batteries. The set also came with a dust mop, dust cloth, brillo pads, and an apron for the little homemaker. Dollhouses and playhouses were featured on the next two pages. This portable cardboard dollhouse was scaled for fashion dolls like Barbie and Tammy. It's very similar in design to Barbie's dream house, but less expensive. But it also included some outdoor furniture, which the dream house did not. The full name of this unusual toy is Mary Magpower's Magic Dollhouse. Mr. and Mrs. Magpower and their pets have magnets in them. The house sits up on legs so that the child can get underneath with the magic wand, with another magnet on the end, and move them around their house and yard as if by magic. The house came with a complete set of plastic furniture. This metal dollhouse by Marx is a whopping 44 and a half inches long. It has a master bedroom and nursery, bathroom, combination living dining room, kitchen, laundry room, and patio, and 44 pieces of furniture. Here's another Mark's dollhouse, which looks similar, but the rooms are much smaller and it comes with a lot less furniture. The catalog description says the house is 18 inches long, but that didn't seem right. I found one online and it is actually 25 inches. I like the awning over the patio. 
For either one of those dollhouses, you could buy this family on the right, with mom and dad, brother and sister, and a baby. The dad is four and a half inches tall. You could also buy a whole house full of plastic furniture if you had an empty house to fill. Wards also offer two cardboard playhouses. The cottage style on the left makes a nice clubhouse for the kids. The service station on the right is printed with all the things you find in a typical gas station of the era. Thanks for joining me today. In part four of this series, we'll see a variety of dolls and toys, including sewing machines and craft kits, play cosmetics and jewelry, doctor and nurse kits, Mattel talking dolls, teddy bears and plush animals, puppets, marionettes, and ventriloquist dolls. If you want to be notified when the video is uploaded, click the subscribe button and the little bell icon. See you next time.